taking a walk today and I always think about what I'm going to find and I, I would like to document them but I don't always have a chance to do that kind of thing. So today's In My Backyard show is here at Surrey Mountain Dam and we are going to talk to a wildlife photographer. His name is Fred Martin and he has been doing this for quite a while. He's been taking a lot of photographs throughout his life but now he's really focused. He's retired. He, this is his 40, an, uh, 40 hour a week job and he doesn't get paid for it except he does sell his photographs so that people can use them and, and uh, put them in their houses. They're even signed, so they're, they're just beautiful. So we're going to talk with Fred a little bit today about where he got started, what his favorite topics or, or subjects are, where he likes to do his photograph, and some of the equipment that he uses. So Fred, the floor is yours. Good. <laughs> yeah. So behind us here, you have some of the, the larger pictures that you've taken. Mm -hmm. And just to get us started, look at this beautiful fox. Now, where was this taken, Fred? It was taken in Chesterfield off 9A mm -hmm. uh, near Swafford Lake about a week ago or so. Yeah. And it was a whole litter of them. That's just one of them. And he was a light colored, colored fox. Yeah. So he and was it, sleeping on the most pile. Beautiful. Yeah. So how many shots do you need to take in order to get something like this? That one was easy because mm -hmm. almost every one come out. He was pretty close, but usually one out of 200 to yeah. be. Yeah. Sellable problem. Yeah. Isn't it nice to have those digital cameras now compared yeah. to what we used to have? You can race what you don't want. Right. You can keep right. What you right. Want. But you know, what you're making is history here because you're never going to get that moment again. No. So, no. Yeah. yeah. Not this one, especially. This is right. My right. Let's, one. let's show them this one too then. Yeah. So, this one here, tell us a little bit about this one, Fred. This one was down in Surrey Beach, right near the boat ramp. And he was in a tree, mm -hmm. and he, I guess he was cleaning these feathers, mm -hmm. and I uh, got a good shot at him. Yep, beautiful, yeah. beautiful. So tell me a little bit, how did you get started? Uh, I started uh, when I was in the Marines, I did a little of it, then I retired, then I went uh, full time. Mm -hmm. So the last uh, what, 12, 13 years, I've been doing it almost every day. Mm -hmm. I don't miss many days. Right. What, now, what kind of camera did you start out with? I started with the old 35s, the mm -hmm. old Kodachrome back in the, in the 60s, mm -hmm. and then the new technology today. I'm, I'm doing these today, mm -hmm. this one here today. Yeah. Yeah. So that's this is one, one of my your cameras. cameras. Yeah, that's a, yeah. a Sigma lens mm -hmm. with a Canon camera, and it's all camo, which you can see. And it's customized. It's customized. Yes. And right here, you notice I have a uh, piece of thread to mm -hmm. let me know where the wind's going so yep. the deer won't smell me and the right. bears or whatever. Yep. So I try to camo up much as I can. Mm -hmm. And I have about five cameras. Uh, that's a 500 millimeter and I also have a 400 and an 800. Mm -hmm. So This the one this one here was taken at the boat, boat ramp in Surrey. I don't know if it's the same eagle, uh, but this was a different day. Mm -hmm. And he's, the boat ramp's right here, right here. Wow. And that was taken up above, looking down at him. That's why I have these uh, nice uh, feather colors. Yep. Yeah. And now that was in the newspaper the other day? Pardon? That, was this photograph in the newspaper the other day? Yes, in yep. uh, uh, Keen Shopper. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 So what are some of your favorite subjects? I mean, I know we talked about all these different things that you do like to shoot, but what are, what are some of your favorites? It looks like the eagles might be. Eagles have been heavy this year for mm -hmm. me, but um, probably my best picture I ever took around here was uh, Bohemian Waxwing. Mm -hmm. And I have every animal, everything in Chester County, just about. I have uh, fishes, bears, moose, you name it, I got it. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And, and how is it that you are able to get these pictures? Patience. I mean, it takes a lot of time. Patience. Right. Patience. Yeah. You might go in for a moose, you might see a sparrow. You never know. Mm -hmm. You never know. Yeah. So, yeah, always take your camera with you. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And what are some of your favorite places to go? I know that here today Surrey's, we're at Surrey. Surrey's good. Yeah. Uh, West Milan, mm -hmm. Harvey Pond on the Glebe Road is a good one. Uh, then I get phone calls. Someone sees something, I'll go and see if I can get a picture. Mm -hmm. Uh, all Cheshire County is really uh, a lot of uh, animals, but square miles a lot. Right, very right. Lot. I think we're very lucky to live yeah. where we live. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, so when you do take your pictures, 
you know, like how long might it take you to get like some of these eagle shots? You know, like when say they're up in the nest and they're the eagles feeding its young. Mm -hmm. Do you have to be there early in the morning? Do they feed at certain times or is there different weather that's that's better for you? Yeah. Any day, I don't like getting close to the nest, but mm -hmm. the, the, the power I got on my cameras, I can be 900 yards away wow. and pick them up. Yeah. That's great. So you're really not going to Yeah, in the morning, noontime, you never know. Really? So they're, yeah. they're pretty much doing a lot of the things that they do all throughout the day? Well, they feed more when they have the young mm -hmm. for fish until mm -hmm. they get grown up, and then they show the young how to, to feed on their own. Mm -hmm. So right now, I, the young are flying, so mm -hmm. you don't see as much activity. I have another close-up here. Oh, sure. Yeah. And tell us a little bit about this one. Uh, it's just it's just in the tree, and it's a real close-up. And I, uh, I thought that was pretty nice to see all the feathers. And that was taken with the 800 millimeter in the tree. Okay. I can't use the 800 uh, millimeter. <coughs> it only takes single shots for standing objects. Mm -hmm. But you take something like flying, like this one here, you got to get about five or six pitches a right. second. Yeah. So I only get one shot out of that 800 millimeter. Mm -hmm. yeah. Probably one a second. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So what's your typical day like? Get up early, mm -hmm. get in the woods. That's about it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just sit and... I don't like appointments mm -hmm. too much. Yeah. So. yeah. And where have, have you um, had some of your, your photographs shown? You, you have a few that are international. Yeah, I, um, the Civic Center in Jaffray, I won first prize quite a few times. Uh -huh. uh, out in the park mm -hmm. uh, last week. Uh, <coughs> they're, they're right now in the Hallmark and Keene, Milford, and them stores, like the one on Main Street, Hallmark, and Kimball Farm and Jaffrey, and I have a few little ones here and there. Yeah, and your photographs are really beautiful because um, they're nicely presented on yeah. the postcard. Yeah. Um, you also stamp them, uh, or do you? Yeah, I uh, cut them out at the bottom for design, right. cut yep. the corners, stamp yep. my name on the back, and mm -hmm. put them in sleeves in their original photos. Mm -hmm. You can take them out, you can frame them, they're not glued, there's no computers involved. Right, so it's a piece of art. Really. Uh, I if guess you so. think about it really seriously, <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. your your creativity is is really shown in yeah. your photographs. Yeah. Um, we were looking at some of your photographs earlier, and I couldn't believe how many you've taken. Mm -hmm. And that's probably just a small amount yeah. of what you've taken. Yeah. But some of the colors and the um, clarity and yeah. the detail yeah. on some of your um, photographs is just amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's all in the uh, camera yeah. lens. Mm -hmm in time. That's right. the most important right. thing is patience. I think you just have to have patience. Yeah. Right, right, yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. You know, when I'm walking through the woods, a lot of times I'll be walking with other people and say I'm going snowshoeing yeah. or, or whatever. And everybody's always got their heads down and they're always looking at the ground and, and doing things. But I often will say, you know, look up and you never know what you're going to find. Never because know. one time I was walking with my dog and we saw a fisher cat. And it was up in a tree. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, that was the first time I'd ever seen a fisher cat, mm -hmm. so I was a little bit worried. Mm -hmm. But I saw it up in a tree, and it was beautiful. I could have just stood there for a long time, except mm -hmm. for the fact that I didn't know what my dog would do or what that animal mm -hmm. would do. But it was absolutely beautiful. Mm -hmm. I was from here, you know, like 20 feet away. Yeah. And it was, it was just beautiful. But I don't have a picture of it. Right. I have a picture in my mind, right. but I don't have a, a picture right. to show. And also, uh, I've uh, been in the calendars, the state. Uh, uh, fish and game, game department. Yeah. I've been in the Wildlife Journal and uh, quite a few magazines mm -hmm. like uh, Birds in Bloom a few times, uh, Outdoor Life. So yeah. I've been lucky. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, let's take a look at some of the other photographs that you have mm -hmm. and um, we'll talk a little bit about those. Okay. Okay. Yeah, fine. So, Fred, now we're inside, and I can hear the rain out there. It's yeah. too bad, but we had to come inside. But we have so many pictures that we want to show people and a little bit more detail about um, all what's going on on these. Now, yeah. these are all copywritten in the... Um, Washington, D.C., in the copyright. In the con yep. Mm -hmm. And so um, you have taken the time to make sure that other people are not going to be just using these photos. Right, um, but, right, right. And it's important because as an artist, you want to have some control over your, your work. Correct. Right. So 
I'm really interested in a lot of these photographs, and I'd love to know a little bit more about these stories. So how did you get this picture? Here it is. It's a, it's a um, turtle, and it's feeding? It's a, or red, it's a red winged blackbird, mm -hmm. had a bug, uh -huh. and feeding a turtle. And that was taken in uh, Westmoreland, Harvey Pond on the Glebe Road. Wow. Wow. And I was looking for wood ducks, and I just happened to come across that yeah. action shot. Yeah. Isn't it amazing what you can come upon when you, you just uh, mm -hmm. are walking along? Now, you have a lot of photographs that are of eagles. So mm -hmm. this, one, again, is the one that we had looked at earlier. Right, but this is the second shot. I can take oh, yeah. uh, a lot of pictures per second, but it, as you come around the bend, I uh, got that one. That was uh, with the boat ramp is again in... Uh, in oh, Surrey, Surrey theme. Yeah, yeah, where the boat ramp is. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Wow, and I mean, look at, this is just beautiful here. Mm -hmm. I mean, and then you've got it signed. Mm -hmm. oh, and then we've got this one here. This is another beautiful eagle shot. So, yeah, uh, that was in a tree right near the boat ramp, sitting in a tree. Mm -hmm. And I got him with my uh, 400 millimeter yeah. lens. Yeah, so was he just speaking or were they feeding or what were they doing in the city? I couldn't tell you. No. I know he's yawning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's beautiful. I mean, look at the deal. How many times do you get to see that kind of a thing, you know? That's right. Yeah. Okay. Well, this one's beautiful. It almost looks like a painting. Okay. okay. That is <coughs> a bohemian waxwing. Uh, that was taken on a dirt road in, uh, in Surrey. Mm -hmm. uh, that was last year, by the way. Wow. And now, is this the male or female? That's the male. Yeah. Yep. Wow, I don't think I've ever seen one of those before. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow, and so, you know, you, I know that you have some favorites that you like to shoot, but, um, you know, birds or, you know, what, what is it that you really... I like birds. Yeah. I like birds. Yeah. Now, this here is a female, female moose, cow moose, probably weighs four or five hundred pounds. That was taken in Allstag Landon, uh, Langdon line, uh, Last winter. Mm -hmm. He's laying down. Yeah. Wow, she looks healthy. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. And then I know I've got one of your favorites here. Yeah, so this is a uh, pretty good size bobcat. bobcat. Was <coughs> that was taken in Hancock probably two years ago, mm -hmm. roughly two years ago. Yeah. Yeah, that's a nice size cat. Right, right. And again, very healthy looking animal. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I don't think I'd want to run into it in the woods, <laughs> but. Beautiful, beautiful. This is that little white varmint. Yeah, this is a little, uh, I can't pronounce the name too well, I guess it's a hermit. They turn white in the winter, mm -hmm. and you can just see he's turning a little brown here because it's springtime, and he'll be all brown another month. Yep. And that was taken at the Dort Road in Surrey also. Wow, lots of wi uh, wildlife up there, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, well, don't forget, you got a mile of fields, you got the river, you got the mountains behind it, and you got all kinds of wildlife yeah, here. Yeah, it's a beautiful area up here. Believe it or not, this was taken in my backyard. Um, it's a bad owl. Mm -hmm. And as you can see, it was raining out that day. Mm -hmm. so. yep. Yep. Yeah, we saw a lot of owls this year. Um, yeah. I walk again along the railroad bed, and mm -hmm. we had an owl that was just hanging out for mm -hmm. months. Yeah. And I could not believe the wingspan yeah. on these things. And the noise when they're going through the woods, the woof, Right. Woof. Yeah. Right. Beautiful. Oh, and we have a fish here. Okay. How do you take these? <laughs> this is a funny one. This is, um, this was taken at uh, Silver Lake. Somebody was fishing and had it on his line. I don't know if you can see in the camera or not, but there's a split shot here, hook in his mouth, and I just happened to get a good shot at him, and, and it broke the line. So I don't know who had the fish on. I'll give him a picture if I found out, mm -hmm. but it's a pretty good shot. Wow. And look at the detail, you know, of the bottom. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. the colors are just beautiful. Mm -hmm. Again, it looks more like a painting than, yeah. than a photograph. And also, uh, the person was fishing from shore early in the spring. Wow. Yeah. That had to be pretty close. Well, how far, now how far? Oh, how he, was, he was close. I yeah. was looking down at him. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. he was pretty close. Yeah. Oh. Look at the colors, beautiful. Now, we have a little boy okay. and that's the female. That's, that's all, yeah, yeah, there we go. Yep. There's uh, the male, bluebird. Here's the female making the nest, and they were all together, them two were together mm -hmm. at the time, and I took single shots at them. Yep. Now, what do you have to do in order to get these shots? Because I can see, you know, you've got such a beautiful shot of the bird, and then the outside, the, the background is just the okay, green. Okay, this here was, 
at the dirt road also, and he's standing on a boundary sign, and this guy here, the female, is standing on the box where mm -hmm. he makes the nest. Mm -hmm. And she was kind. he was kind of looking out for her, I guess. So yep. They got plenty of boxes down there for bluebirds. Mm -hmm. down there. Yep. So is the, is, is the green like... The green just the background. It's probably the hemlocks or whatever mm -hmm. in the background. Yep. I try to blur the background out if I can right. on a case like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 This is a beautiful owl. Yeah, that is a uh, snow owl, mm -hmm. close up. Mm -hmm. I got him with uh, this camera. Yeah, yeah. Look at uh, the detail here. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. just incredible. Yeah, and I think he just got done eating a little vole or a mouse. Mm -hmm. What? Can you see him He's smiling or? <laughs> yeah. He's got a full belly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that was a pretty good shot. Yeah. And then we have these beautiful. Okay, that was taken in East Swansea. That looks like a postcard, honestly. I mean that. Yeah. And That's you also don't see a flock of turkeys flying. Right. But uh, Especially that close. Yeah, yeah. and uh, you can see the shadows. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was eight of them, I think, in a bunch, or six or eight. Mm -hmm. So that's a, that's a rare shot. It is. It is. I've seen um, turkeys before in our yard, yeah, yeah. and they when we, they got scared, yeah. they flew up into the trees, but they didn't fly all together. Right. They just flew off. Right. So, yeah. Oh, and this is one of my favorites. Just look at how the colors in this one are. Okay, this was taken in the mill pond. I guess it's the Keen Swansea line, uh, that little pond there. Uh, it, was, it was in the fall with all the leaf color. And if you see the blue, that is the outline of the sky. And also, these pictures are all natural. These haven't been worked on. They might have been cropped a little bit, mm -hmm. but the color's the original. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it looks like a mosaic almost. Yeah, and all, all these cards here, I'll show them how to, mm -hmm. uh, you can take this out, you can pop these out, mm -hmm. and you can also frame them. They're not glued, and they're all original photos. Every one of my photos are original. Yes. They're not stamped with a computer. Right, right. And then they're all signed, too. That's correct. Yep, yep. A lovely, hey. lovely loons. This was taken at Silver Lake a couple of years ago. Uh, two loons passing each other, and they just come out like this little heart in here. Mm -hmm. So I saw a few of these at Valentine's, uh, marriages, or someone has twins, or something mm -hmm. like that. So that's a pretty yeah. good seller. Yeah. Now, does um, Silver Lake have more loons than other ponds, or are there other places that you go to for loons? Well, I, the only reason I took this to Silver Lake because I lived there at one time, mm -hmm. and I had a lot of time to mm -hmm. take these pictures. Yeah. And these are all taken from shore, not mm -hmm. a boat. Wow. So I don't uh, disturb them. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I, I remember being out once um, and watching the loons in the lake, and all of a sudden we were in the boat, and the loon popped up right next to the boat yeah. within yeah. a couple of feet. It was incredible. Okay, this one here also is the female with a baby on the back taking a ride, and that was also Silver Link. Yep. Yeah. Beautiful. Sounds like we're going to get some thunder. Yeah. All right, and we have an owl here. Okay, that's a close-up of a bad owl. And uh, I just used the camera on that and pulled the just his head in. Mm -hmm. Now, again, um, how close can you be to This one was pretty close. Yeah. But uh, I could take that at 100, 200 yards mm -hmm. easy. But this was real close. That was probably 50 feet, yeah. 100 feet or so. Wow. And then I've got this other photograph here. Yeah. Now, how did you take this one? Someone took that at me a week or two ago, yeah. and uh, they just gave it to me. Yeah. So. yeah. so that's what you look like most of the day? Most of the day. Yeah. Wear camo and try to wear uh, dark colored clothes. Mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, try to blend in a little bit mm -hmm. in the environment. Yeah. So. yeah. so do you, you teach at all about your photography, or I do you go and talk to different groups or anything like that? Yes, I have. I've done a few schools, like Surrey, Marlboro, and I don't tell them how to run a camera. Mm -hmm. So I just tell them the basics about the wind, the sun, and, uh, <coughs> and that's it, and patience, or whatever. Yeah. So, so if somebody was going to get into photography, what would you recommend they start with? Have a lot of time on your hands. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, a good summer project for yeah, a, a kid go. or there something. You go. And you know, a decent camera. You right. know, you don't have today. They make cameras you can buy reasonable. Mm -hmm. You know, you can get a hundred fifty dollar camera, and they work well. Right. But long range, you might be in a little trouble. Right. But they take excellent pictures. Right. Right. And, and now your lenses. I mean, this this camera here is not your typical camera. No. I mean, 
I it almost feels like you have to have some kind of a sling to hold it because, I mean, that's a pretty long lens. It's probably not all that heavy. Not, but ma not many people paint a $3,000 camera. Well, right, right. <laughs> but, but even just holding it, like, how, how would you adjust? You've got this adjustment here and this adjustment here? This here is an uh, adjustment on your focus, mm -hmm. and, it's, and it's, um, you can adjust here on your focus. Yep. And the automatic focus, you know, you push down on this, and you can shoot this manually, turn mm -hmm. this if you like, mm -hmm. you know, so. Yep. Yeah. Wow. wow. Well, I don't know if you're going to be going out today. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. So what do you do when it rains? Uh, go home, make some pictures, I guess, right. put some together. Yep. And go around me, see if I can uh, display them somewhere. Yep, yep, that sounds yeah. good. That uh, sounds but, good. Uh, if anybody wants any of these, they could go to Hallmark and Keene on Main Street, mm -hmm. and they got most of my photos. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So. yeah, and there's probably a few more that aren't even on display there. If, if someone had some, some subject that they wanted to have photographs of, mm -hmm. um, do they have your, your contact information there? Or is it on your, is it on every, your? Every oh. one of my cars has my address. Right, yep. and, uh, Yeah, so they could get a hold of you and, and they could get your, your photographs from them. Yeah, yeah they, they can get them from them also, uh, get in contact with me. Yeah, So yep. I have uh, plenty of pictures right. on my hand. Right, right. <laughs> so what's your favorite time of year for photographs? Right now. Yeah, the fall? In the spring also. Spring too, yeah. You have uh, the young are born, mm -hmm. the birds nesting. Yeah. The eagles looking, feeding their young. Yeah. So there's always something going on. Winter's great. Yeah. Do a little tracking. Mm -hmm. So yeah. uh, all year round. It's yeah. all year round. Right. Fishing, you know, it's, it's nonstop in Cheshire County. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's, it really is a great place to live, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. 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 It is. Yeah. I'm yeah. going up to Pittsburgh uh, the 19th of October and take pictures of moose. So I'll have mm -hmm. some new moose, yeah. I hope. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I remember going up to Pittsburgh and they had the bear dumps. Yeah. Yep. Do you ever take oh pictures? Yeah. 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 And yeah. then it is amazing to see that there are a lot of uh, moose up there and yeah. the way that they cross over yes. and, and different things. I think they're very lucky up there to, yeah. to still have that. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yep. That's right. Yeah. 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 Well, thank you today, yeah. um, Fred. This has been great yeah. learning about yeah. you and all your yeah. photographs. And, yeah. you know, I feel like, fun. yeah, you, um, you give somebody something to take away that mm -hmm. stays with them, even though, you know, it's a photograph, but, yeah. you know, it stays with them forever. And, and it's a memory. Yeah, and you've just seen a few of them. I like know. Thousands so of them. more, so, so many more. Yeah. So it works out fine for me, and yeah. uh, I have fun. Good, good. Except for the rain. <laughs> I know, I know. Well, you know what? I always say that this is God's way of giving us time to relax. Right. That right. we need some time right. to just right. settle down and, and sit down for a few minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Well, it's been wonderful having you okay. here today. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So today we've been in my backyard with Fred Martin. If you are interested in information about Fred or the In My Backyard show, you can email us at inmybackyardch8 at gmail.com. We'll get back to you and, um, you know, feel free. You know, we'd love to hear from you. So we'll see you again in my backyard. Mm -hmm.